Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today I want to show you Text AU, which is in a lifetime deal right now. So that means you pay once and you have it forever. The link will be in the description. So what I'm trying to do in this video is to show you as fastest and as clear as possible what Text AU does. So this is the main video purpose. All right, so Text AU, like I said, it's in a lifetime deal right now. If you guys want to grab it, the link will be in the description. Trust me, if you don't get it, you're going to regret it. So the single code gives you 20 minutes of execution time, which I'll explain, don't worry. Two parallel executions, 10 email enrichments a day, unlimited automations, and you get this for 49 bucks. My recommendation is you at least get the multiple for 147 bucks, and it's an hour of execution time. Let's head on over to the actual text AU. Sorry, this right here. So this is a dashboard. What text AU does, it automates and grabs information. So it's called actually scraping. Some people are in favor, some people are not, but the truth is that most of the people are doing it. If you're not doing it, then you're missing out on a lot of good stuff. All, the, the only recommendation I do is that you don't go all out on it, all right? So just be careful with the limits. All right, so what is TextAU? All social media accounts and social media pages have certain information. Now, what TextAU does is connect one with the other to grab the actual information and give you what you need. So, for example, LinkedIn has a whole bunch of information that's public. You can even grab the emails from there, but it's hidden. So, TextAU can, for example, you can jump from Instagram name, try to find his name, from Twitter, then from that, from LinkedIn, and from LinkedIn, you can grab the email, and from email, you can grab some things from HTML5, and then you can grab domain with uh, the emails from a domain from Hunter.io. So the idea is to automate so that so you grab information from certain places and complete the puzzle so you can grab the information that you need. The, auto, the other automations that you can do is like follow people on Instagram or on Twitter, um, certain people with certain niches that you find. All right. So let me show you really quick what we have right here. So first thing we got Craigslist. So in Craigslist, we have these two options. So you got Craigslist scrape page. So you can return all the data from the Craigslist page. So maybe you can find, I think phone numbers are hidden. It's been a while since I've used Cra Craigslist. Um, that could be helpful. Maybe some, some of them have the email pro, the email like available there in the description. So you can grab it from there. It's just going to depend what data you can grab there. Maybe you can find the, the name, maybe find the address and grab that information. Craigslist scrape page. Okay, so that's, that's the same one. Facebook. We got these Facebook automations also. So like return likers of a Facebook post. So for example, someone gives you a like, you can do an automation to return the like. Uh, Facebook profile scraper, Facebook ID finder, Facebook post commenter, Facebook messenger sender, Facebook group extractor, Facebook profile Earl finder. And what this is trying to tell you is that like you can do these certain automations to do exactly what you want. So it's going to save you a lot of time. Let me take these off. Next thing we got is full contact. Uh, I've never used it, so I can't really talk about it. Uh, HTML. So that means, you, for, for example, you can take a screenshot. Let's take a screenshot of a site. That might be useful for, hey, you know what? I want to do, maybe you want to check what someone is doing for you. Like they're doing like web OS job for SEO job for you or something. I don't know, or development. So you want to take a screenshot, you know what, every day, every hour, or what you can do, you can automate that. Social media links, find them from a so, from a website, extract emails from a website. So if you want to find those, extract HTML page, meta tags on site. Uh, Hunter a Hunter IO. So what this one does, it won't show you what right here, but what Hunter IO does is like you put in the domain in Hunter IO and it'll grab the emails that it finds there. Instagram. So you got all these options right here. It's I'm not gonna go through every single one of them, but like I said, the idea is to complete the puzzle and get the information. LinkedIn. You got these LinkedIn information also that you can grab and do automations. So it's about grabbing information and automating in that. You got Quora, Quora profile following, profile scraper, profile followers, and influencers. Slack. So there's a lot of Slack users in this community. So send message to a user from Slack workspace. Return a list from members from a given channel of Slack. You got Snowview, Snow, sorry, it's Snow.io. Snow email finder, Snow uh, email verifier. So for example, hey, you want you, you grab a, a list and maybe you want to verify it. So use Snow if you have it, right? Or maybe you can use the free version and it gives you a certain limit. Or email finder, Snowview can find emails 
from certain places, like from LinkedIn, it can grab the emails. Webalizer, haven't used it, but it's there. Um, product Hunt, so maybe you want to do some automations there, like Product Hunt Auto Follow. So if someone leaves uh, a review or something like that, you can grab there. Product Hunt Upvote, Hunt Profile Scraper, Auto Upvoter. Then you got the Twitter automations, you got all these right here. You got Medium and Reddit. These are the automations that are, are available right now. Now these things are called spices. You can, if I hover over here, sorry, uh, automations, but these are called spices. Why are they called spices? Because the automation is called recipes. So what do you do? Well, you, you add spices and you make your own recipe, right? So let's head on over to recipe. So we're over here, recipe, and you can re create a brand new one, or these are the ones that I've created. So you can click, click right here, and these are automations that I've created. So in this case, you got the Slack user extractor, then I scrape the LinkedIn profile. See, scrape the LinkedIn profile using email. Then we got the LinkedIn connect request using. So once we extract from Slack, the, what do you call it? Sorry, the extractor, the user, we scrape the profile using email. So we find this user with their email and then we send them a request. How cool is that? Imagine doing this for 100, 200, 1,000 people. That, I mean, that's gonna take a lot of time and money to actually do it. There's a whole bunch of recipes. I mean, you create one from scratch. Easy, we have the save, we got play once you started it. You got the manage local and global variables. You can undo and redo. You can load from a CSV from a Google Sheet. You can use a proxy. Some automations require proxy, proxy some don't. Proxy, what it does is hide kind of your location so you don't get kind of like, you can say like Facebook will attack you, like say, hey, you know what, too many automations, or you know what, I'm gonna pause you, or I'm gonna block you, or whatever, so proxy, really recommend it. Title, and then you got the platforms you can select. So let's just say, mm, you know what, we're gonna grab from Twitter. All right, so let's grab Twitter, right? And what we have is these automations. So what do we wanna grab from Twitter? You can, you can do an auto retweet if it were an automation, Media Extractor, Profile Likes Extractor, Profile Earl Finder, Profile Scraper, Auto Follow, Message Sender, Profile Followers, Profile Following, uh, whatever. So let's just, just say we want to scrape something. Uh, Twitter Profile Scraper, right? So that's added right there. Auth Token, you can do it manually or you can download the plugin that I've done already here for Chrome and it'll grab the token. Whoops. All right, there we go. Should have grabbed that. Let me do it again. Okay, I need to log in. Hold on. Give me a second. By the way, so if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, that's SassMasterDid. All right, so that's there. Grab the cookie. There it is. All right, the Earl of the profile to scrape. So what profile is it going to scrape? Um, let's just grab mine, right? Now, let's grab something interesting. So let's just say Apple. All right, where are you, Apple? Uh, Apple right here. All right, so no, I don't want to follow you. All right, so I want this profile, and I'm going to put it here. All right, so that's good. Next thing is, what is it going to do with the data it's going to scrape? So let's click Next. And in this case, we're going to find LinkedIn. So it's going to be LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, Post Auto Liker. We can just view the profile, which is, I don't, I don't want to do that right now. Um, LinkedIn Profile Earl Finder. All right, so we selected that. How is this going to find it? So in variables, we're gonna grab the variables from Twitter. Once we start adding more, we can grab more variables. Remember I told you that each social media captures certain data and that data is public? That's how you grab this. So in this case, we're gonna say, you know what? I want the name because with the name, I'm going to find in LinkedIn. You can add more variables. That doesn't mean you only add that one. You can add another one if you feel like you need it. So you got all these variables right here. So maybe you want to do it. You know what? In LinkedIn, there might be like five or 10 or 20 people, whatever, with the same name. So maybe you want to do it also by location. So it's going to search name and location. So it's going to actually reduce um, the amount of, of error that would be, right? So you would add location also. And once you grab that profile Earl, what are you going to do with it, right? So let's automate more. Do you want to, in LinkedIn, send them something? So now we can send them a message. Look, you can do a post on a liker. Um, we can do a profile viewer. Hold on. 
we can message the sender. All right. So once we got the sender, let's, you know what, let's go message him, right? So let's add the cookie again. What is the message going to say? It's going to say, hello. And we can use a variable here. So variable that's, it's already grabbed from the LinkedIn. Remember, we jump from Twitter to LinkedIn. And now that we have LinkedIn, we have more information. So now we have this information. See this right here? So you can say it's the first name. All right. So hello, dude. And how are you? Whoops. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Earl of the profile sent the message. So what profile is going to use it? I'll put whatever my profile follow up message. So if they don't answer, I can use that follow up interval. So that could be like number of interval days. So if they didn't answer, you can send them another message in two days if you want. Right. Um, we're just doing demo video right now. So these are just optional. All right. Let's just say you grab that. What else do you want to do? We already have that information. So now, you know what? Um, I'll do something with uh, Facebook, right? With Facebook. What am I going to do with Facebook? Now that I'm going to do that, I need to find profile Earl finder. So I'll find this first and which burial am I going to use? So I'll find the variable right here. All right. Profile Earl timestamp auth. No, none of these will work. Hmm. I need to find something profile message. Maybe if we found the variable in the message, maybe over here, you asked for his full name, just, just example, right? And that's how I would grab that information. And in Facebook, you would do something else. And maybe you want to save it to a Google sheet. Well, I mean, what options do we have with Google sheet? Let's see what we can do. Google sheets. All right. So what's it going to do? Google sheet Earl. We got to grab the Earl from Google, the, the public one and put it here and you can configure columns sheet range and configure so you can save the information and do more automations i know it sounds kind of weird and kind of complicated and it's mostly because i'm doing this video really quick to let you guys know what you can do but the idea is this grab certain information with the other one and link it make fill that puzzle until you get the information you need that's to find um specific things or if you would just want to automate certain things like hey auto like follow or this follow or things like that that's in recipes now we also have public recipes so in this place you can do these are already like built for you these are like popular ones there's not many yet i think they will add more but for example if you want to scrape linkedin profile of instagram post commenters so people who comment over there you can go over here instagram post commenters so if i click on it it's gonna say all right required inputs this is what we need to actually do the whole thing right so you need your linkedin like I cookie the cookie Instagram session ID cookie Instagram post roll and the output will be this one so it's actually telling you what the output can do and how to use this recipe so it's pretty cool that it's actually telling us how to use this certain recipe so in this case you can find something that it could be useful for you like scrape link scrape LinkedIn connections find social media links of LinkedIn pro sorry connections so it's going to grab it here and it's going to find the link, the social media connections to these ones. And like I said, it's going to show you how to use it. How cool is all this? So once you have all that, or if you run one, you can go here to results. And this is where the actual results are. Remember we saw over here that we have the execution time. Well, this is why in this execution time, each type of situation takes up time, right? So the time is monitored here. So in this case, I got 59 uh, minutes with 59 seconds. In this case, I've used this right here because I use this. It caught, it used up 9.94 seconds. So that's milliseconds at least 948 milliseconds. And these are the results. If I click right here, you can see the result that I have, right? So in this case, what I did, this was pretty cool. I searched my own name and I it find it, it found my LinkedIn profile super easy and super fast and these are all the ones that I've made so I recommend that you do some testing before you like go all out and run it because for example here it's taken one second so that means that's an approximate right so each search of these is gonna take one second so for each minute I'll be getting 60 profiles and that's the way you would calculate so if it's okay go for it for example there's other ones that run 38.98 seconds so that takes much longer so be aware that you're not going to get as much results but it could be fine it just depends on how you want to use it i'm going to show this this one right here linkedin profile earl finder i'll find this right here 
That's one of the easiest one. LinkedIn profile Earl Finder. In this case, what it what it does is search. You can search a name and it'll find the LinkedIn profile. So I'll just put this right here. It's my name, and I'll fetch Earl. You can also grab this from a CSV file or a Google Sheet Earl. Maybe you have a Sapier integration and you're grabbing um, full names. Well, you can find the LinkedIn profile. Or maybe you ran a giveaway and you have the name, you have their email, and you have other information, but you don't have their LinkedIn profile. Well, you can use that. Put the sheet in there, the CSV, or the Google Sheet that you have integrated with Zapier, the whole thingy, and you can automate. So that's my name, and I'm gonna fetch Earl. And it's gonna take, I can go here, take me to results. And it's actually running, so we got this little yellow clock right here. Let's wait for it to run. I'm gonna actually click on it, and you can see that it's working. This time it took way more, seven seconds and 7.87 seconds. And this is the profile it found. So it actually did find me. All right, let me click on it. Now, if you guys want to follow me, LinkedIn, please head over here. You can find me there, and I'll leave the, the link in the description also. So that was pretty easy to find. Did you see? That was like the straightforward, no cookies, no proxies, no anything. Super easy to use. Um, why do I say get it before you regret it? Because this is just getting started. These are the automations that are available. Maybe you're not a big fan of going around social media and scraping. Well, use the HTML. We'll use other things that might be useful. Maybe you, there's going to be so many automations going on and conversions that you can do here that I really recommend that you grab it. That's the reason I say I, I totally say it by heart. That I really, I really recommend it. I like it. And if you're not going to use it now, I still recommend that you have it at least the starter plan so you can do some automations when you actually need it. Next thing I want to show you is a CRM. This is a quick CRM. What is this? Um, oh, it's not showing. Click X, clear filter. Oh, there it is. All right. So what it does is it's like a quick way of like all the things that you capture, you have them here in a neat way. It's not meant to be an actual like huge CRM. It's just to capture the, the thing, the information. So you can see the information I found right here on these right here. So it's like influencers. I got them right there. So they're here in CRM. How cool is that? You can also do a request. If you don't find the spice, you can do it there. All right, guys, I think that's enough. I think it was quick enough and I hope I was clear enough to show you what it's capable of. This is just like overview off the top, what you can do with it. Because once you go in depth with spices, with recipes, sorry, you're going to have a whole huge automation you're going to be able to do a lot of things with actually not doing anything. So you're just going to take up like, you know what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending how complex the recipe is. But then after that, it's just going to be quick and fast. Well, all right, guys, I got, I hope you guys like this video. The link will be in the description for the deal. The deal is an affiliate link. It's not going to cost you one cent more of what it costs anyone normally. It's just going to give you a small commission so I can keep grabbing these deals and making these videos for you. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is S Master. See you guys later.